Hello, uh, everybody. I was in a cafe earlier today, and having had a bit too much coffee this morning, I decided to switch to fizzy water, so I ordered a bottle of fizzy water, and it arrived to me without any fizz in it. Um, I opened it, and it was still, it still had that strange um, carbon dioxide-y kind of acrid taste to it, but there was no fizz. And I wondered about it, and it kind of reminds me of what I did as a teenager when I would... Um, play around with these sort of bottles here. This isn't fizzy, because um, I went and bought these in Lidl for this video, because they were cheap. But anyway, I would um, open the top up to the point where the seal wouldn't break, and then shake it to get that gas out, because I actually like um, Coca-Cola when it's still. Um, call me weird, call me odd, but I like it that way. But then I got me thinking today, um, how secure are these seals on these bottle tops? Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to see what I can do with them. Uh, so these t these bottle tops are a classic example of something that's developed for manufacturing efficiency. Um, here is a very bad diagram, which I've been working on. So here we have like a, bo uh, a bottle top as it would arrive in the factory. So you have here is the top, the bit you... The, this bit here that you, you grasp onto to unscrew it. And there's a little perforation here. That's the seal. That's what breaks when you hear that sort of... <coughs> sort of ripping sound as you unscrew it. There's the collar, which is uh, this bit here. And underneath it, you have the sort of uh, teeth that go around the whole side. Well, the whole rim of that, this ring. And as the bottle is going through the factory, it's filled up and it's screwed on. And the teeth get folded up underneath a little lip here and uh, they, they sort of grasp onto that. So when you unscrew it, you pull it upwards and these teeth clasp onto this little sort of ridge here and breaks the seals. It's quite a simple concept really, and it, but it is designed with manufacturing efficiency in mind. Uh, think back to the days before plastic bottles and you had glass bottles and metal caps. You would have the cap, it would screw on, but then some mechanism would have to come in and sort of clamp in the seal. So this whole mechanism here is designed with efficiency in mind. It's designed to be quick and easy because they just want to, in the bottling plant, sorry, they just want to be able to screw the top on and be done with it. And, and that's it. Um, the less complication in the process, the quicker it is, the less there is to maintain, less machinery, and it just, it just works faster. And that ultimately means more profit for the bottling company or coca-cola whoever so anyway, i went to lidl got some of these here just for the test purposes this is strawberry flavored water it's clear so that's all you need to know because i want to be able to show you this so what i have here is a bowl of water uh dyed with red food dye my dog has been drinking from it um so he's gonna have some very interesting pee in the morning but anyway, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I am going to remove this top, just tease it off until such point that I can start squeezing air out of the bottle. It's just like a little turn. See that? Oh. There you go. Maybe I'll see if I can tease it off a little bit more without breaking the seal. Here we go. So I'm going to put some water in here. So the product is coming out. I'm going to dip it in the water. Try and suck some of it back up. Now these bottles are interesting because coming from Lidl they are very uh, cost aware. So they probably use the thinnest plastic they can get away with without it uh, causing any problems. So it doesn't have a lot of spring. A uh, Coca-Cola bottle or a spray bottle has a lot more spring in it because the plastic's thicker and it wants to return to its shape. But this will do the job for this because uh, I want to show what's possible using very thin rubbish plastic, basically. And as you can see, when I move this out of the way, it's now red, whereas previously it was clear. And you can hear the air being sucked back into the bottle. 
So it kind of makes me go, what is the point of these? Um, to me, the point of the seal is to prevent tampering with the product. So that uh, when you buy the product, if you don't hear and you're unscrewing the cap and you don't hear the click, 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 click as the perforations break, then you, you can say, well, that's, I'm not going to drink this. This has been tampered with or it's been opened or it's been something's been done with it. Um, but clearly it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Um, and okay, the bottle's a bit squeezed up here. Um, but if I blow into the bottle, see, look again, uh, you can see it's back to the way it was. Um, so what is the point of these seals? Um, it is clearly possible to contaminate what's in the bottle. So if you were someone who was wanting to contaminate goods for fun or profit or whatever, you could. Um, but even just undoing them to the point where air runs in and out, even though you're not breaking the seal, you're still contaminating the product by exposing it to air. And um, you know, plain water probably isn't going to go bad, but something like Coca-Cola or sodas or whatever or fruit juices yeah they're going to get contaminated and go bad um so i genuinely genuinely don't understand what is the point of these they don't work um and i think it's just a case that we have got to the point where manufacturing efficiency has taken precedence over the quality of the goods and yeah they don't work and just to prove a point, uh, I'm going to take this top off to prove that I haven't actually broken the seal. So listen out for the click, click, click. I'm going to move it over the microphone. Here we go. There you go. Um, they don't work. They're not safe. They're not good enough for food use. So there you go. Take care. Cheerio. Bye-bye.